Okay, so as we saw in, in step one, we're finding the prime factorization of what's inside the radical symbol that's called the radicand. I'm going to do, because I like to do it this way, I'm finding my prime factors using the cake method. And we're gonna go back to the radicand and we're gonna make it really long because we're gonna write those prime factors out and you don't want to do the shortcut version. You want to write all the twos. So I have three twos and two fives. How many x's are in here? So we're going to write times x times x times y times y times y. And how many z's? Okay, I'd like you guys to look at the longest direction on this that you just wrote down. The index of the radical tells you what size of identical groups can be removed from the radicand. Circle these groups. Well, it's invisible. What do we know is here? That means I can circle groups of two that I find. I have three twos, but I can only circle two of them. How many fives? Wherever I've got groups of two, I'm going to circle them. There is no coefficient on this one. There's nothing in front of this, so it's an invisible one. We have our group circled, so step two is done. Step three says for each circled group, the number or variable will be multiplied by the coefficient of the radical one time. So I've got two twos. I'm going to pull out one of them. I have two fives. I shouldn't say it that way. For that group of two twos, I'm pulling out a factor of two. For the pair of fives, I'm pulling out a factor of five. I've got two x's, so that's going to be one x when I pull it out of the radical, times one y, times two z's. Well, that means I now need to multiply these. I've got two times five is ten. 1x, 1z, and, or two, I'm sorry, 1x and 1y and 2z's, so z squared. What's left inside of the radicand? 2 and y. So the symbol is still there, and this is my result. I factored out everything I can. Step four says if everything is removed from the radicand, the radical symbol will disappear. But we still have things inside, so it's still there. A simpler version of this that you guys already know. Let's go back to one of our examples from yesterday. To do step one, we're going to write this as eight times eight. We're going to circle them as a pair. Why is it a pair? Because our index is 2. We're going to pull out 1 8 and there's nothing left inside so the radical symbol disappears. You guys already knew that this was equal to 8. We're just showing it with the steps you've just learned. Make sense? We need more practice. Um, how much room do you guys still have left on your Cornell notes? How about we do this on dry erase pockets? Get some dry erase pockets, and we're going to do some more practice.